Hey guys, welcome back to the Alcohol Free RV. Today I'm installing a product that some of you have probably heard of, and we're trying to make our rear bumper just a little bit stronger. So guys, I ordered a package a couple of days ago from mountainlock.com. Mountain Lock provide it's mount n lock. I'll put that link in the description below. They have this product that allows to kind of make your rear bumper stronger. We've seen, well, I don't know, I've seen some horror stories of bumpers that have fallen off on the freeway because they've got like a bike rack or too much weight hanging out on the bumper. And well, we've got some bikes that we want to carry around and we don't have space in the truck or inside the rig for them. So I went ahead and ordered these bumper mounts and also a over under trailer well not trailer hitch but accessory hitch for our rear bumper on our open range the package was very well packed it was in a padded mailer um and well this this box and once you get inside the parts were wrapped up i've already opened up the the hitch side of things but it's all tightly wrapped together with shrink wrap now this pair of products that i chose to get is well for me intended to of course increase that weight and provide us a way to mount a bike rack to the back of the trailer so we're going to go ahead we'll take a look at these and then we'll get to installing so i've already unwrapped the hitch it was wrapped just like these other parts I showed you with all the shrink wrap, all the bolts and everything you need is in the package. Now, there's a face plate and on the bottom, another face plate. So these are gonna be kind of the front and back of the hitch. And then two side pieces. These are where the hitch pin's gonna go. And then a couple other plates that are going to be used to kind of secure everything together. And then lastly, a hardware bag. Now, like I said, everything here is uh, everything you need to do the install or so I'm told. I don't have any way to know that until we get into it, but all the bolts and cutter pins and everything else is in here. So without further ado, we'll go ahead get to the back bumper on this one and put it together so it comes with all the instructions that you need to kind of show you how to put all these parts together and you can mount this with the hitch down here below the bumper or above and these pieces are really heavy duty this is rated to a 300 pound support capacity so less than the the bumper um, the the brackets but let's see how this goes all right so first things first you put this base plate on and then your bracketry goes on mm. and this is something that i didn't really think to account for our bumper has this little wrap on it so I may need to kind of cut out part of this because these are not gonna go on around it I think from a space perspective I've got this about centered try to score this a little bit I need to get out these two rivets here. All right, so hacksaw, pulled that off. And then these brackets, they're snug, but they fit just barely. So tolerances are really tight on this. 
and these do appear to be the same front to back. And they go in just like that. And your pressure plate goes on. This is not um, symmetrical. There's a little groove here and now we'll see how it goes in it does work either way so i'm not sure what's the point of one versus the other and then we have these little pieces which the thicker groove side is going to go down They slide in to these slots in the verticals. And this is where we have to break into the hardware pack. What we're looking for are these cotter pins because if we look closely right here, the cotter pins are gonna basically hold these plates from sliding out. What I have is lineman's pliers, so that's what we're going to use. And basically, you just want to get these so they don't come out. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to start getting this retention nut and everything in place. These grooves are going to go down onto this plate. I guess there's some sort of, uh, they're like teeth. So it holds on. All right, so my, um, the bolt is starting to press against this pressure plate. So that's all the further I'm gonna go with that for now, because I don't wanna put things in until I have my actual bike rack and according to the instructions you just want it lightly here you don't want to bend that piece out of shape one of the things that i really like about this this particular hitch versus some of the other ones is it has this nice solid lip here at the bottom that's going to be doing the holding on to the bumper so my hope is that that's not going to deform the corners of these at all and it's going to be a really strong uh, connection. I think I'm going to hang this off the bottom. The powder coating on this is making it be ever so slightly difficult to get on. bit is this nut and I'm hoping things are long enough that I'll be able to put this the screws in and use the screw to, to bring this together the screws are pretty long but I don't know whether it'll do the job I may have to give it another couple of whacks with the hammer. Now. All right, that, that's good. 
All right, these bolts are gonna take a half inch um, wrench, socket, whatever you have. And it does say to finger tighten these only, but finger tight, my plates aren't all the way up against my bumper. It does also say that seeing a little bit of exposed thread is okay. The thing is like rock solid. That's awesome. And then when we get the bike rack, it'll go in here and then you'll be able to adjust this bolt down at the bottom to keep it from rattling. It's gonna actually press up and keep this, uh, this hitch nice and tight up against it. So it's quiet, doesn't rattle. And this is the safety struts. And these safety struts are designed in such a way that you'll be able to put the uh, put the weight of the bumper on these and then it's got a couple of holes. Let's tear into this so we can get a better look. All right, these things are heavy duty. They're advertised to actually increase the strength of your bumper by 400 pounds. 400's a lot. Now our bumper seems to be welded pretty well, but I figured that this would be just a little extra, um, a little extra insurance, you know, that our bumper's not gonna go flying off down the highway along with all of our bikes. And again, all of the hardware here is included. So each of the screws and everything, and they've even provided, it looks like there's a hole in the bag here, uh, but they've even provided the appropriate size uh, socket so that you can put that in your drill to, to use these um, self-drilling, self-tapping screws, bolts, whatever. So, now that we know what those look like, we'll get to installing them. So these struts are going to mount up under the bumper like this. Now for my application, this diamond plate stuff is kind of in the way again. So I'm just gonna mold that a little bit with this hammer. So in the ideal world, you can clamp this in all the way to the bumper and to the frame. I'm not gonna have that luxury here. Cause I don't have a clamp large enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it up against the bumper as good as possible. And use my favorite Craig clamp. And then tap it up against the bottom of the bumper. So then they've given self-tapping screws and the appropriate size socket for it, which is 7 16 Alright, now that the bolts are in, I'm going to get a little snugger upper of the wrench. There you go. We've got one on either side now. Got our shake stopper hitch here in the middle. And I think I should be able to get our skirt over this in the winter because it goes outside the bumper. So pretty cool. Guess we'll have to go get ourselves a bike rack. 
one thing that I did forget to mention is right here, you can see that this piece is kind of lightly attached to the back, uh, the full bracket. There's a little bit of uh, metal securing the two. What those are for is if you don't have enough clearance back here to be able to function, what you can do is you can actually take this piece off. You whack it with a hammer and it'll, it'll break off because this is like some sort of cast iron or cast steel or something. And they give it these uh, additional little screws and nuts that will allow you to attach this to the front side of the bracket. Now, that means your bracket's gonna stick out a little bit more, but that's gonna afford you, you know, another half inch to three quarters of an inch of clearance. So, you'll be able to operate, you know, if you've only got this much space, you'll still be able to use these brackets. So they've thought of a lot of things to make it functional for, well, pretty much everyone. Well guys, that just about wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching. You know, I really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up if you like this kind of video for sure. We definitely want to know what your thoughts are about putting a bike rack on the back of a bumper. Unfortunately, we still got an empty hole here. There's been some shipping delays with the bike rack that we got. So we'll probably have another video, you know, maybe in a few weeks. Once that bike rack gets here, I get it assembled and get it installed. I'll also give you hopefully a couple of, you know, thoughts about it, how I feel that it does keeping the bike secure while we're on the road. Again, thanks for watching. This is the Alcohol Free RV where we do mods, repairs, and upgrades along the way. See you next time.